so sad, dude. So if you guys have been watching my car updates and you think I'm wearing the same exact outfit every time or like I'm doing all this in one day, I'm not. I just wash this sweatshirt and then wear it again and this hat. So, uh, anyway, so today I am going to try to take out the control panel for my like AC and heater in my car because I ordered a new one. It's been shipped, so I want to be ready just to put it right in and see if that fixes the problem right when I get it. Um, and also... So with that too, I took out the heater relay, which is a whole thing. And if you guys want to hear about that story about dealing with the guy at Toyota, let me know in the comment down below and I'll post a little story about it. But so right now I need to try to get that control panel off and I don't really know how to do it because there's, you know, no videos on YouTube on how to do it for my specific car year. So we're just gonna try and see what happens. I, I, I don't really know. First, I'm gonna go in with a little flathead screwdriver and I'm gonna come in at this corner up here and, oh, let's see. I'm just kind of loosening it, so that's good. Feels like it's just gonna pop out. Okay. See, and I don't want to like scratch it up because this might not actually be what the problem is. Okay. I feel like I loosened it a good on this side. It kind of popped a little bit. Let's see if I can get this side to do the same thing. Oops, 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 oops. Also, while I'm doing this, I'm listening to Celine Dion, so I don't know if that'll help you guys at all, but it's kind of helping me. Oh, there we go, okay. So I just kind of very slowly kept working all around it. It popped, so we'll just, okay. There might be tabs on either side. Now, do I know exactly where they're at? No, I don't. So just kind of keep slowly prying. Don't do anything too aggressive, because you don't want to break anything. Oops. And there we go. Okay, so now you'll have to reach behind, and I'll show you. So you reach behind, and you'll see this on top. There's a little piece, if you can see my thumb, that you need to push down, and it'll unplug. And that's all you need. And it's out. Okay, so I got the control panel out, and it was super easy. You guys saw that. I'm also uploading these video clips or some of the steps as their own videos because I have been having such a hard time finding videos on how to do stuff for my specific make and model of my Camry. I have the XLE, so for that make, that was like the high-end one of that 2002 year but it seems to be the unicorn. I can't find videos on how to do stuff for it, and I'm having a hard time getting parts for it as well. So that's why I'm uploading these like shorter steps as their own videos, so that way hopefully they help people because I need help and videos would be very nice. So now that I know that I'm done with stuff under my dash, I finally got the correct cabin air filter. So I'm just gonna replace that and put that back into place and then hopefully put my dash back together. My dad asked me if I remembered where everything goes. And I was like, yeah, for the most part, kind of. I mean, I'll figure it out, right? Okay. So this piece goes up in here. Oh, wait. This piece goes back in first. I wonder where it went. Just kidding. This piece sucked getting off. This might be a little drastic. But it got the job done. Q. 
Okay, I don't know why this piece just doesn't want to fit in here, but for some reason, she just doesn't. LOL, I forgot I broke this piece off the back of it because it didn't want to come out, so it's going to be kind of wonky, I think. But maybe I'll replace this piece at some point too if I can. Yeah, I don't know what the heck is up with this piece. I really should have just ordered a new one right away. <sighs> okay, so to pop your glove box back into place, you have these little prongs, and they go in here, of course, and then there is a screw that goes in the end right here. So, I don't know. There you go. 